Okay, Coach Delia, so you guys are here at Cedar Point. Well, we're not quite at Cedar Point. We're at this uh, Death Star type. <laughs> what did you think of this when you pulled up to it? It's awesome. This is the first time I've been here and impressed for sure. When you guys get this opportunity, right, the, the link, the Nebraska thing was kind of out of reach, I think, for a lot of your guys' budgets. And you guys get this opportunity, it pops up. Did you guys spring at it? Absolutely. We like the dual meet, dual meet format, location, and just it gives the guys one like last thing before we let them go for a while to like be together, try to get dual meet wins, and I think it's important to transition to the actual season. So. so you guys, do you guys get to ride the roller coasters at all? Do you? I know you got the yeah. tickets. Are you guys gonna do it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna win our we're gonna win our dual meets today, and then ride the roller coasters tomorrow. That's that's how we end it. I love the positive positive mental attitude. I, I'm all in on that. Yeah. Coming here against, I think it's four other MAC teams: Cleveland State, Kent State. You guys, Bloom, Lock Haven, right? And then they got a D two. You got a Lake Erie College. And then I think Binghamton's here. And well. Binghamton, you got an EIWA school. So you get some pretty good competition today, yeah. but you get some teams you get to see a lot too. Yeah, absolutely. What's that like giving them some some new guys? Because the whole COVID thing and the training's bizarre and hit and miss, right? Yeah, we didn't get to wrestle everyone that we kind of wanted to this year during the season, so it's kind of nice to see these faces. Uh, and then, yeah, we don't get to wrestle Binghamton, so that's another one we're kind of looking forward to. So, yeah, well, interesting matchups and uh, good way to end the season. I'm not happy about the transfer portal. It hit you guys, but it also helped you guys, yeah. right? Uh, Kent State loses McNally. You guys lo lose Greg. Mm -hmm. But you, you get a guy. Yeah. You get an ACC champ and Brent Moore. Yeah. So you guys are, you know, it's, it's, it's given and it's taken, right? Right. What do you guys think of that so far? Yeah, I mean... The transfer portals, it's definitely a different animal than it's ever been before. Um, Greg had just ran out of classes here, so we had, we already knew it was going to happen, so it wasn't like a surprise to us by any means. But, uh, yeah, the Moore one, we had to go to work to uh, get him eligible and all that stuff, but uh, it was it's going to be worth it. You know, he's really, really motivated, and uh, we're excited. We also got uh, Northern, Illinois, uh, Northern Illinois transfer and a kid from Campbell that we're pumped up about, too. So you guys, you guys benefited essentially. After it's all said and done, you benefited. I feel like we did, yeah. When you guys see the competition here, right? Binghamton's kind of the outlier, I guess. Them and Lake Erie College, but yeah. you guys bang a lot, obviously, with Lock Haven, obviously Cleveland State, Kent State, and you know they're in the conference in bloom. Yeah. Uh, what do you want the guys to get out of competition with guys they do actually see sometimes, though? Just more familiarity. I think for us, the more you know, film and familiarity we get with the guys, the better. I think one of the things we do well is uh, make adjustments. And so every little piece of information you can take, it benefits you when the season comes. It looks like you guys got the best turnout. I think you have two teams. Yeah. So why was it so important for you guys to get such a big turnout for Clarion? I think all of our off-season stuff, if you look in the past, whenever U23s was at Akron, we would take 27 guys. We'd always have the biggest turnout there. It's important for us to, like, not have eight guys go one place, eight guys go. We, we want to stick together because we feel like our team chemistry is maybe our strongest asset. So uh, it doesn't matter who it is. We're behind them, and, you know, we're going to do it together. Tell me about this towel move. This is a power move. I like this power move. Why is there a towel move here? Yeah, so we wrestled uh, uh, We wrestled at Lock Haven Duels uh, a month, a few weeks ago. Nobody had a towel, so I was like, hey, not only am I going to bring a towel to towel people down, but, like, I'm going to wear it around. <laughs> Listen, the trick I saw when I went to Russian Nationals, they dumped the water bottle on a portion of it, and then they're letting the guy drink. Because mm. when you couldn't drink, you couldn't have a drink, now they can have a drink, right? I'm not that clever, but uh, <laughs> I got a towel. That's all Dude, I got. you know those guys cheat so good. Definitely. They Definitely. cheat the best. <laughs> they're so good at it, I mean, and, yep. and other things. But All right, you got anything else for me? No, we're excited. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to let these guys go for it couple of weeks after that and then get back to training coach thank you for the time thank you for the towel move good luck to you guys today thank you appreciate it